Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another video on Android app development tutorial. So in this video, we're going to talk about recycle view with custom view, but in Kotlin. So I have created the tutorial on how to uh, use recycle view to display uh, items in your activity using custom view. I got a lot of requests for tutorials on Kotlin so I started loading it and now I have finally got that confidence to make the video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and I start with the basic things. So in this video we're going to talk about simple recycle view that have one text view and it's going to display the items in recycler view. Anyway so let me go ahead and show you what we're going to build today. So this is basic tutorial so this is the list view. Uh, actually recycler view and there you can see we have these items one two three four five six and this is custom view uh, created using card view as well as the text view that is used inside the card view so this is what we're gonna build so let's go ahead and start so i have my android studio open here and we're gonna go ahead and create the new project and make sure that kotlin plugin are installed in your system if not you can do that when you create the project so okay so i'm gonna give the name and select the kotlin here instead of java and select the api 25 as the minimum you can select uh, api 22 23 it's up to you i'm gonna use api 25 so click on finish so once the project is created and built successfully we're gonna go ahead and add few things in our gradle file so first things first, we're going to go ahead and add Kotlin extension here so that we'll be able to uh, use its features. So to add the Kotlin extension, you can just add id Kotlin Android extension. Okay, now sync the Gradle file. And once that is done, we are good to go. So close this. Now here, I'm going to delete this hello world first and drag and drop the recycler view. So I'm going to set all these constraint and we are going to give the ID for this recycler view. So I'm going to give the ID as home list for this recycler view. Now uh, we need few files. So we're going to go ahead and create an adapter for this recycler view. And we will also create the custom XML layout for the recycler view item that that is going to be displayed in our home page. Okay. So let's start by creating a Kotlin file and make sure you are selecting Kotlin file here because we are working with the Kotlin. So as I'm coming from the Java, so I sometimes get confused with this Java class and Kotlin class. So since we are working with the Kotlin, we're going to go ahead and create this Kotlin class. And here I'm going to give the name as item adapter because this is adapter that is used for the recycler view items. So click enter. And now we have created this item adapter cotton class. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and extend the recycler view adapter class. So recycler view dot adapter. And here we need to pass the parameter that is the type of adapter class and the view holder. And currently we don't have this view holder created. So we're going to go ahead and create that. So hit alt enter and click on create view holder class, select the current class. And now we have this view holder. Our view holder is going to extend the recycler view dot view holder class. Okay. And now here we need to add this constructor with this uh, item view as a parameter. So this item view is going to represent the custom XML layout that we're going to create for our recycler view items. So it's good to have that. And here we do have few errors. So we need to add the constructor initialization here. And now we need to implement few members because we are extending this recycler view dot editor class. So now I have implemented this on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count. So we'll go ahead and talk about all these when we will use that. So first of all, now, since this file is created, 
I'm gonna go here into the layout directory and create the item custom view. So let me give the name as item custom view layout resource file and this file is going to define how our item is going to be displayed in our home page and uh, if I go here and check our final uh, application you can see it is a simple layout design it has one card view and one text view so we're gonna go ahead and design that so let's go to containers and drag and drop the card view and now this card view is going to have the layouts that is constant layout and now let me fix the constraint so that we'll be able to add few extra items there okay and for the ease of use I'm gonna make it as a match constraint on the both side that is height and width so now I can drag and drop the items here so we're gonna have simple text view so I'm gonna drop the text view in the constant view there and fix the constant on the all four sides and now let me fix add uh, let me give the text size of let's just make it 18 SP and we'll make it as 0 dp that is match constant on the left and right okay and we'll give the 8 dp of margin okay that is about right now I'm gonna make it as wrap content okay and our card view is going to have the margin on the all sides of 8 dp and I'm gonna make this root constraint layout as match parent of uh, wrap content okay in that way it's going to display like that okay and also uh, let me give 8 dp of margin for this text view as well okay so this is our simple layout design and let me give the id for this okay card title is the id for our text view and now we're going to inflate this card view this custom view design in our item adapter so let's go here and in on create view holder we can inflate that custom view so let me create the custom view first so we're going to create new uh, variable here using val keyword and that is view and now we're going to inflate the lay layout using layout inflator from we need to get the context and we can get the context from the view group that is passed through this on create view holder so parent dot context okay and now we can inflate the layout so r dot layout dot item custom view and we need to pass the view group that is our parent group and we are making this false because we do not want this uh, custom view to attach with our main parent view that this comes with this activity main okay now we need to return the view so return using the view holder class that we have in our item adapter class here already so let me pass the view and this view is pass through this item view here and we can access the items of this custom view so that we'll be able to change this data here okay come back here and now in the item count for now i'm just going to return 10 i, I just want to display the 10 items but uh, later we will pass the data here from the main activity that is we'll pass the list of items through the constructor and we will display that here okay but for now uh, we are just returning 10 so that it, it will display the 10 default item so it's going to display 10 item text view here okay so we'll see that in a second but let's go to our main activity and now here we need to set up our recycler view and adapter so i'm going to create adapter uh, instance here first so adapter equals to item view adapter sorry item adapter and currently you do not take any data so now we need to reference to our recycler view and we can do that using the id of this recycler view that is home list so let's go to item adapter and uh, sorry main activity now here i can directly reference our recycler view using the id of the recycler view 
and that is because we have added that Kotlin extension at the beginning of this video. If you do not add that, you won't be able to write directly reference uh, this home list recycler view. Now I'm going to add the adapter that is our adapter. But before setting the adapter, we need to set up the layout for our recycler view. So home list dot uh, layout manager and here we need to use linear layout okay so linear layout manager that this okay and now we have uh, use our adapter we have added the layout manager and we have uh, assigned this adapter to our recycler view so let's go ahead and run this application just to check if this is working as expected or not so I'm gonna run this application in my emulator let me close all this okay our app crashed so let's go to lockcat and see what is the problem let me run it again and now we have this thing so let's go it says operation is not implemented okay so let me just remove this to do here and run this again okay now you can see we have 10 items in our Kotlin list okay now what we're gonna do is we'll create the error list here and we'll add few items into our error list and we'll pass that error list through this item adapter here and we'll go back here and we'll uh, grab that item list and we will display the titles that is present in our item that is passed from this main activity to this uh, recycler view okay so let's go to the main activity here and create one data set so let's say data set it is going to be of type array of string equals to array of string okay so first and so on you can add uh, any number of item here so now we'll pass the data set through this uh, adapter here right now our item adapter class do not have that option to receive any list or any parameter so we need to fix that by going to this item adapter and now here we can make this class receive some items from the uh, main activity so our item adapter constructor is gonna receive array of data set so data set and we need to set the type here that is of array and generic is string so it's only going to have a string value inside that array okay and we need to use this data set uh, throughout this um, class so let me add the val keyboard here so that it will be available here inside this uh, class so now our adapter here uh, display some error saying that it need uh, it need the parameter data set so we'll just pass the data set parameter here okay now that error is fixed now let's go to the item adapter here and instead of returning 10 what we'll do is we'll return the size of the data set okay and now finally let me copy and paste this from here to here okay because i like that uh, view holder to be at the end of this file so that it will be easier to read now uh, we'll inflate the xml resources inside this custom view that means uh, we'll inflate this text view and will the and then only we'll be able to set the data to this text view so in our item adapter dot kt here i'm going to create the text view so car title variable which is of type text view and i'll initialize it using the item view as i said the item view is reference to our custom view here so item view find view id r dot id and the car title is the id okay now I can reference to this car title in our onbind view holder using the view holder variable here and we can set the uh, list of titles that we have received from this data set to our uh, custom view. So holder dot car title dot text equals to and we'll just reference to data set array and pass the position. This position specifies the item position in our list view 
okay now let's go ahead and run this application and we'll see what i'm talking about okay you can see first second third fourth so let me go to the custom view here and i think i have not given the margin at the top okay rerun this application and now it is the exactly way i want it to be now uh, currently if you click on the any of these items it uh, do not work because we have not handled that situation so let's go ahead and handle that in item adapter what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more variable here called view and i will just pass the item view okay so because we need to handle the click on this item of our custom view so i'm passing that to this view so that i'll be able to reference here so holder and now we have this variable view and we can click the uh, we can set the on click listener okay now inside this you can do whatever you want to do when you just click on the item so okay so i'm just going to display toast when somebody click on our item and it will display the uh, title of the card so what i'm going to do is data set dot position and now i need to specify the length so toast and final display okay so let's go ahead and run this our application is running now if i click on this we'll get this uh toast here saying that which item is clicked okay in that way you can do all sorts you can perform all sorts of operation here you can send the user to the new activity you can send the user to the details activity and so on so that's it for it today guys so this this was about how we can implement recycler view with custom card view in uh, kotlin now in the coming video we're going to talk about uh, grid view so here we have used simple uh, linear layout to display our item like this but in the next vid next video i'm going to create the same recycler view but with the grid layout and there you'll learn about grid view and span count and so on so we're going to display two items here so let me show the demo actually and we'll also use uh, picasso to load the remote images from the url and we'll display this in the next video so if you haven't liked this video like it subscribe to our channel and comment if you have any problem you can join our facebook group and you can message me there and i'll try my best to help you so i'll see you in the next video